Okay. It's 127, 2024. I can't even believe that this is possible. Um, so, real quick, uh, I love World of Warcraft. I've been pl I played it starting in 2005. These are some of my very first World of Warcraft screenshots. My roommate and I started playing it very early on. It was fantastic. It was a fun game. It was my first MMO, which stands for mul mul uh, Massively Multiplayer Online. And that's me. You see my name on the top left is Nerve. I was a paladin. And then I made some other characters and it was fun. And I spent a lot of time and I played this game from 2005 to around 2021 or so. I stopped playing it. Um, so it always uh, holds a special place in my heart. But last night, I, uh, I've known about this for a while, but last night I spent some time. Let me show you. I spent some time typing in a document like this. You see this in my text document and I just started this thing called self-hosted World of Warcraft server that means it says you can host your own World of Warcraft server World of Warcraft was a huge fucking game even even just the first game that came out vanilla wow was huge in terms of just how how big the world is so I thought you know what my computer in the living room is pretty powerful I wonder if I can do this can I host my own World of Warcraft server so I eventually, with all that typing, trial and error, I got this. And this might not look like much to you. This is just text. And if I hit Alt F2, there's some more text. It's running two different screens here in one computer. I named this computer Azeroth Ubuntu. Azeroth meaning the name of the, the world in World of Warcraft. So that's all it is. It's running a little computer. Here's the... Uh, the CPU it's using and the RAM, not that much really. Four gigs of memory, not that much CPU. Nothing's going on right now, it's empty. But let me show you what that little text turns into. You think that doesn't mean anything, but watch what it means. I'm gonna load up World of Warcraft. This is the realm list right here, just to prove it. I have the realm list set to caterwall.chickenkiller.com, that's me. So you guys know that that's my IP address. That's what I have it set to in World of Warcraft. So what, what happens when I open it? Just type in my password, and look at this. I named this realm. I want my bow back. <laughs> it's just a little uh, joke because World of Warcraft, or Blizzard basically banned one of my accounts and took this bow right here away from me. So I named my realm, I want this bow back, or my bow back. So here it is. I can't even believe this is even possible. This is World of Warcraft, you know, these guys are walking around, enemies are walking around doing things, and this is my server. I'm hosting this in my living room right now, and my friends can connect to me. We're the only ones on this realm. If I type who, I'm the only one in the whole fucking server. It's, you know, World of Warcraft is was fun because it was a big multiplayer game. So playing by yourself isn't necessarily the most fun, right? Uh, but I'm just amazed that I can do this. Anytime I want, I can just load up and connect to my own server. I don't have to pay anybody. This game used to cost 15 bucks a month. Actually, it still does cost 15 bucks a month. But for a while, we've had private servers. We've had Nostralius and other private servers that got really popular. But eventually those private servers start asking for people for money and shit. Oh, we need money to start, you know, keep the servers going and stuff like this. Well, you don't need that anymore. You can run your own server. And it's, I'm not saying it's exactly the same as World of Warcraft was, but I can kill stuff. And what's weird, and I'm not used to this, when you loot, watch how fast it is. Look at that. I've never seen it that fast. Usually when you loot in World of Warcraft games... It's like, okay, it takes a while. I'm thinking because of lag or something. But I have full control here. I could type GM fly on. And I could just fly. Whee! <laughs> I think there's a command modify speed all 20, I think. Yeah, now I could just fly. Whee! Isn't that crazy? I could just fly across the whole fucking continent, and it's huge! Well, like I said, World of Warcraft is fucking huge. I just can't... I can't believe I'm able to host this for such 
It doesn't even require that much power. I can go anywhere in the world, and there's, you know, people just doing their thing. What do you mean? But it goes further than this. Not only can you fly around on your own fucking server and do whatever you want, anytime you want, you can bring your friends if you want, you can make them accounts, you can give them gear, you can give them power. I only gave myself, like, my Rockdalar bow for now. I love this fucking game, dude. Like the music in it, the environments are just amazing, dude. I have my set myself set right now as like a GM, so um, I'm kind of- Oh shit, maybe I'm not. Fuck. <laughs> I basically- there's so many commands, there's so many different things you can do when you own the server yourself. Now, if I were to shut this computer down, this one right here, if I shut this down, it'll disconnect me. Because once again, I can connect to the server without an internet connection. I don't need to pay anybody to connect to my own server. This is the first time I've ever done this. I have never done this before. I never even tried. And I did it all in an afternoon yesterday. I got this all set up. It's just great. If I type GM invisible on, I think. Oh, dot GM visible off, I think. You are now invisible, okay. So now I don't think enemies can attack me. Just... This is the normal speed. This The environment is just beautiful, dude, and huge. I've always just loved this fucking game. You can change all your settings in here. Different effects. Change the sound quality. Adjust music. It's my server now. That's crazy, dude. But here's, here's the other special thing about a server. I've heard, and I haven't tried it yet, that people actually run bots on their server. I'm not a huge fan of bots, but you can you can make your server come to life by adding thousands of bots. Some people actually run servers themselves with thousands of bots, and they actually have like uh, like raids and stuff where the bots are like healing you and helping you. And I just couldn't believe it, dude. Let me see if I uh, got some videos. Yeah, like right here, dude. Like this guy right here. Let me full screen it. This guy is in a raid, Nax Ramus, with bots. This is my 25-man raid team that I've been actually starting to raid a little bit more seriously with. And I have made them very similar to a kin of the uh, Might of Kalimdor, which in... That's crazy that you could just do this, dude. And he goes in and he's like fighting bosses and shit and... This is all by himself on his own server. I guess a lot of people are kind of doing this now. I didn't realize. I had no idea that people were playing a lot of solo World of Warcraft, which is unusual. Usually you want a lot of people. And, you know, the thing, though, is that humans, there's a lot of errors. Like, I've played with a lot of humans in World of Warcraft, and frankly, a lot of them sucked. You know, they'll say shit like, uh, I gotta go, my girlfriend's bitching at me. You know, so I swear to God. Or, uh, be right back, smoke break. Like, we had to wait, there was a lot of waiting around. But this is the first time where you can actually get bots up together and go fucking do shit, you know, on your own. You don't really need anybody else if you don't want. Or you can even have humans with you too. Like I said, my, my server right now is connectable. If I make an account for anybody, they can just get on. That's, that's crazy to me, dude. So there's all sorts of ways to do this now, and I guess, and it's not even really even using all that much power as we saw. It's not using a lot of, uh, but it seems like a lot of people run the server on Windows. I'm running it on Linux, on, on Ubuntu. It, I followed the guide. Um, I was thinking about maybe adding some bots because you can actually do this if you want. You can add bots and then just leave your server alone. And you can come back and you'll see like the bots are leveled up and shit. Like they go on about their business, man. They just play the game. That's fucking weird. <laughs> And I'm doing this all on my fucking Linux server, the same one that's running all the rest of my Linux server shit. 
you know, my Jitsi Meet, my Invidious, my book server, my movie server. Speaking of movie server, I got that open right now too, which has, I have a couple World of Warcraft stuff on my movie server. Let me hit play real quick. Yeah, there it is. Three of the mortal world. This is a captures the. It's kind of like a behind the scenes of of one of the World of Warcraft expansions called Legion. So I was into WoW for such a long time. I liked the game, but um, a lot of people like the original game better. This one right here. This one has uh, Northrend. I can actually, I think, teleport. If I type teleport, um, uh, let's see. How about uh, Duskwood? Look at that. I'm instantly in Duskwood. Oh, it's beautiful. It's fucking beautiful. I'm cheating. I'm shooting him from above. Let's speed up a little bit. There we go. That is so cool, dude. Here's a Stranglethorn Vale, which is a very beautiful, lush, tropical forest. Damn, I run fast. I've never, I've never ran this fast in World of Warcraft. This, this, this map has. This shit, dude. Wow. I, I think I can increase the view distance too. I made a video about that like 10 years ago or something that people really liked. With this older version, I think you can easily do that. It's like the, the possibilities are endless, really. You can. If it's your server, you really can do whatever the fuck you want. Let's go over to um, Booty Bay real quick and then I'll end it. Speed up a little bit. You can go all the way up to speed 50. That's... Look at that. Holy shit. Whoa, I can't even fucking control it at that speed. <laughs> Here's Booty Bay, man. Very... I wonder if the boats work. That's one thing I didn't try. So if you wait here in original World of Warcraft or whatever, a boat will come like every few minutes or whatever, and it'll go ding ding. That means you get on, and it brings you to another part of the world. It was one of the travel modes in the game. But people really liked this area because, I don't know, it was just a real, it was a hub. I think the auction house works too. I think there's an auction house in here. The vendors work. Everything, you know? It's pretty fucking well done, dude. I'm amazed. I thought there was a... Oh, swashbuckler's shirt. Where was that fucking... Um... Oh, I think it was right over here, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that the auction house works and everything. Of course, there's not going to be any auctions there because it's my server. Wait, that's a bank. That's a bank. Here's the auction guy. There we go. There's nothing there. No items found. <laughs> That's crazy. That's the first time I've ever seen this, dude. But it works. Everything just fucking works. The mailbox works. Oh, what the fuck is this? I got a mail from somebody. <laughs> hey there, Nerve. If you want to learn expert riding for flying mounts, visit me at Thralmar in Hellfire Peninsula. All right, let me teleport. Teleport Hellfire Peninsula. May I just have Hellfire? Yep, okay. 
Yep, and here we go. We're in uh, the Burning Crusade expansion now. Wow. This guy will kick my ass. Oh shit, he's gonna kick my ass. I'm not that strong, I mean, obviously. This is the first expansion of World of Warcraft. And in this very first expansion, at, I think, level 68, you were able to get flying, and you could actually fly in this area. In, in all of these zones right here. Outland. It's, it's just a beautiful game. It's absolutely fucking huge, dude. I'm not joking when I say that. There's all sorts of little hidden nooks and crannies and caves and... It's got water, it's got... It's beautiful. If you te um, teleport in the Grand, this place is just beautiful too. There's fucking lush water and just waterfalls and... It's truly a... Okay, that's it. I'm out of here. See you guys. Ah. <sighs>